When it comes down to the economics here, I think it's really worth pointing out there's a real difference in the economy of scale and the economy of numbers. So lots of people point out uh, accurately that it's really hard to compete with economy of scale. So a lot of reactors today, they're quite big and they're big for a reason. It's generally cheaper with nuclear to make it bigger. But that being said, there's also been this kind of challenge in the West with these large engineering projects. So some of these nuclear plants have gone way over schedule, way over budget. It's worth pointing out as well that in China and South Korea, they can still build nuclear right now cheaper than coal. So this is not a problem everywhere. Maybe an antidote to this challenge in the West is to leverage more modular construction, do smaller reactors, and do them in a factory. There are some people that have looked at the economics of this. One is Jacopo Bongiorno from MIT. He kind of looked at what's the optimal breakdown uh, or the balance between the economy of scale and the economy of numbers. And it looks like maybe somewhere in like the 100 megawatt kind of size would be still very modular, still manufacturable in a factory, but still giving you that size and economics benefit. This does vary by reactor type. For example, high temperature gas reactors are much less energy dense than liquid metal reactors. So you might have 10x the power output in the exact same form factor. I think which reactor is best suited for which application will be kind of a function of not only the economics they reach, their cents per kilowatt hour, but also what temperature they reach, which can determine what applications they're used for and so on. Is part of the vision of Allo to sort of be, be that manufacturing company that can reach economies of scale on a manufacturing side, not on a, like, we just build one enormous facility side. It's another way to reach economy of scale is build the same thing a lot of times. Yeah, definitely. It's one of our objectives. I just want to say, so our first product will be 20 megawatt thermal. And we do not anticipate this to be cheaper than the largest nuclear plants, but it'll have a good high temperature property and it'll have a certain physical property that'll make it good for lots of these initial applications where they're willing to pay higher prices per kilowatt hour. But in the long run, we also want to hit that sweet spot and we think we can make a 300 megawatt thermal reactor that would still be very manufacturable in a factory at scale. And that's where we think we actually get into the three to five cent per kilowatt hour range. That's ambitious, obviously a big challenge, obviously lots for us to prove, but that's roughly our goal. At that stage, we could compete more utility scale, but until then, it's kind of a question of what are some applications where they need the higher heat that traditional reactors can't provide or more remote where you're competing with diesel being shipped frequently, adding to the cost and so on.